Welcome to this short video tutorial on push button programming the ceiling mount or CM sensor. Before we begin, let's look at the CM sensor's features we'll be using to program. First, the LED is green and located behind the lens, and in bright light can be difficult to see. This will be our primary indicator used to program. The programming push button is located under the cover and is what we'll use to program the sensor. To remove the cover, press firmly on the cover and rotate it counterclockwise until it stops, then lift it off. Locate the push button on the flat surface of the sensor body. Now let's walk through the programming process to read the current settings and program new settings. The first thing you should know is that there are two methods you can use to push button program the CM sensor. The first method is the universal method used across all sensor switch devices and goes like this. Enter the programming mode by a press and hold of the push button until the LED rapid flashes. Enter the function number for the desired setting. For example, occupancy time delay is function 2, so you press the button two times. The LED will blink back the current setting 10 times. Five blinks is the default time delay of 10 minutes, and it will repeat the five blinks 10 times with a short pause between. If you only want to know what the setting is, you can let it continue to the end and it will automatically leave the programming mode. If you want to change the setting, you must enter the new setting before the 10th blink back of the current setting. It will then blink back the new setting 10 times. Before the 10th blink back of the new setting, you must exit the programming mode and save the setting. To exit the programming mode, press and hold the push button until the LED displays a rapid flash. Release the button and enter the function number again to tell the CM sensor the setting is final and save it. The LED will blink twice to let you know the setting was accepted. The second method of programming was developed for devices that are not easily accessible and not generally susceptible to accidental programming. It's referred to as the shortcut method and only uses steps 2 through 4 of the universal programming method. Another key difference is that the LED blink back is reduced to 3 times instead of 10, so you have to be a little quicker on the button presses. So the shortcut method goes like this. Enter the function number of the setting. The LED blinks the current setting three times. If you only want to know what the setting is, you can let it go and it will exit the programming mode. If you want to change the setting, you must enter the new setting before the third blink back of the current setting is complete. The new setting will blink back three times and is automatically saved and the programming mode is automatically exited. As you can see, the shortcut method is much easier and is the preferred method of programming a CM sensor for most of the available settings. Regardless of the method you use, you may want to create a short script or crib sheet the first few times you use push button programming until you become more proficient. Timing and sequence is important. If you take too long between button presses, you may be dropped out of the programming mode. We'll be using the shortcut method of programming in this tutorial. So what are the available programmable settings and functions? Programming instructions and the settings are included in the CM sensor box or can be found on the Acuity Brands website. We see here that the function number for occupancy time delay is 2. Note that the factory default setting is identified by an asterisk and is setting 5, which is 10 minutes. The shortest setting is setting 1 and is 30 seconds. So locate the function and setting we want and record it in our short script or crib sheet. Now I'm going to program my CM sensor for a 30 second occupancy time delay using my crib sheet which looks something like this. First, I enter the function number by pressing the push button two times for occupancy time delay. The LED blinks the current setting three times. Before the third blink back is complete, I press the push button one time for the new setting of 30 seconds. The LED blinks the new setting three times, exits, and saves the new setting. Programming complete. 